the metacarpopal and geal joints refer to the joints between the metacarpal bones and the phalanges of the fingers. That means the MCP joint is the knuckle between the hand and the finger. These are of the condyloid kind, formed by the reception of the rounded heads of the metacarpal bones into shallow cavities on the proximal ends of the first phalanges, with the exception of that of the thumb, which is a ginglimus. Structure equals ligaments equals each joint has palmar ligaments of metacarpopal and geal articulations collateral ligaments of metacarpopal and geal articulations equals dorsal surfaces equals the dorsal surfaces of these joints are covered by the expansions of the extensor tendons together with some loose areolar tissue which connects the deep surfaces of the tendons to the bones function the movements which occur in these joints are flexion extension, adduction, abduction, and circumduction. The movements of abduction and adduction are very limited, and cannot be performed while the fingers form a fist. The muscles of flexion and extension are as follows. Clinical significance. Arthritis of the MCP is a distinguishing feature of rheumatoid arthritis, as opposed to the distal interphalangeal joint in osteoarthritis. Equals other animals equals, in many quadrupeds, particularly horses and other larger animals, the metacarpopal and geal joint is referred to as the fetlock. This term is translated literally as footlock. In fact, although the term fetlock does not specifically apply to other species metacarpopal and geal joints, the second, or mid-finger knuckle of the human hand does anatomically correspond to the fetlock on larger quadrupeds. For lack of a better term, the shortened name may seem more practical. References. This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links. Hand kinesiology at the University of Kansas Medical Center, Eaton Hand Joey 047.